Hey, hey, it's that Steve. Please like and subscribe. Please click on the Deck Heroes icon. Click on subscribe. It's 100% free. Run in, run out. And don't forget to click on the notifications just so you don't miss any amazing content. <laughs> anyway, so most people know, for, know me for being a gamer. More recently, people know me for kind of doing lifestyle videos and kind of dating videos. I've got a degree in psychology, got a degree in economics, and you know what I mean? I'm a man of the world and I live in London, all this kind of stuff. This video is actually a crossover and it's a first viewing. Uh, the gentleman has got 100,000 subscribers. 100,000! So anybody playing Rise of Kingdoms, you better believe I'm going to start playing UGO. You know, I've already installed it. <laughs> just need to... I'll probably start playing it over Christmas. But anyway, he got divorced over that game. Let's see what he's got to say. I need to say this. Let me just say it straight out the, out the way. I am no longer married and I'm, I'm divorced. This is not what this video is about, but there's something that you guys need to know. Um, when I met this woman, and I told her about my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, she hated it. She didn't like it. She said that, hey, you can do something better with your life. You should go back to school. So you know what I did back in 2016, 17, 16? I said, you know what? Maybe she's right. And you know what I did? I sold all my equipment. I sold my YouTube channel. I sold all my camera stuff. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time to move on. Maybe it's time for me to do something better with my life. Not knowing that at that time, what I had was very special. At that time, something that I chose to do, YouTube, I had something going on. Even though I had some drama and stuff going on before and I shut that drama channel a few times, I had something that I completely gave up. I gave it up because someone said, hey, you know what? Maybe it's time to move on. You got to do something better with your life. There got to be something more for your life. And I sold all my stuff for a woman and she's no longer here. And this problem persists. The re she told me at that time, hey, you wanna meet my mother? You need a car. Cause I didn't have a car at the time. I was doing YouTube. I was working from home. I didn't need to drive anywhere. Yes, YouTube is what I did for a living. It's how I paid my bills. And I was street performing also. How did I street perform? I just catch the bus 20 minutes down the street, played my horn, went home. I never needed a car. But when I met this woman, you have to go back to school. You have to exercise. You have to get your degree. You have to do something better with your life. Even though I explained to her, this is what I chose to do. Hmm. This all this does become grey. When I first I say this is my first viewing, first viewing. Okay, so initially I was thinking, okay, he's got hundred thousand subscribers, and his lady's told him to give up YouTube. Is she crazy? You know what I mean? But now he's saying, no, 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 no. He was barely he was barely coping on his YouTube money, which may have been nearly nothing or nothing, right? It was just maybe a pipe dream, and the rest was street performing. Um, um, and I'm going to put it out to you guys, right? I'm going to put that out to you guys. Would you give him the same advice? Because I think I, I would if that was my part. And I'm going to just kind of hands up. Because if they are struggling, you, you would say, okay, well, why don't you do one or the other? Just kind of hold down something substantial so that your day-to-day -day life is ticking over. And yeah, fair enough. Also find time for your pipe dreams or your dream dreams, to give it a better phrase, and, and you just never know. And that may well be, if you've got enough time, both of those still things anyway, doing the um, online gaming and doing the uh, street performing, or just one of the two, whatever's just most kind of, most important, but you've got to kind of be focused on what's working, and at that time, the YouTube thing wasn't working, otherwise, it, it, you know, she wouldn't have anything to comment on, he couldn't afford a car. And that's to say, he had to do other things other than YouTube in order to maintain his income, so, um, Hmm, uh, did you say 2006, was it? <clears throat> I can't remember, I don't know how old he is now, so um, he doesn't even look that old now, so if it was 2006, my mass is awful, then that's 18 years ago, so yeah, he'd probably be in his kind of very early 20s, maybe his teens even, who knows, so yeah, yeah, I absolve you from criticism, young lady, whoever you are in the world, let's go forward. A woman comes in your life and trying to tell you the plan that you chose for your life is wrong. And out of love, I choose to say, you know what? Maybe she's right. And I took a chance. I took a chance. I said, you know what? I'm going to give this up completely. Like, for, for good. Sold the channel to Jobber. Sold all my stuff. Tried to go back to school multiple times. There's some... I don't want to say that I can't finish school. But it certainly feels like I can't. For, I don't know what it is. And every time I talk to people... They just think that everything I say is just an excuse. You are...
Now, before you move on and say this is my first viewing, if you're not cut out for school and if you have to try multiple times, I've tried multiple times in the past and I got through it. So, you know, I mean, I got there in the end. So I'm not putting anybody off. But you've got to know in yourself whether you've got the drive to kind of upskill and get, get your head around things and just give whatever effort it takes and go to lots of different sources and say in order to fill that skill gap. And again, for me, um, you know, I didn't have the discipline when I was at school. So I had to find that and then I had to up my English skills and then I had to go and do additional classes at college as well as in the daytime as well as on a night. And thank goodness there was one particular lecturer who gave me those insights I needed, which has kind of led me to, you know, get a very good degree and a master's degree and kind of kind of formulate and kind of structure everything I do and say in terms of my written work and more or less how I think and process things or get the best out of my natural kind of ability to process things in a given way. Um, if, But what I'm saying for him is, I think he's kind of tried that again and again, and maybe he'll go down my route or maybe I think he's going to say that, nah, 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 nah. All things considered, I did keep on trying, but I went down YouTube is what I'm expecting. 100,000 subscribers. Oh, my gosh. I wish that was me. Anyway, we're going to find out. A grown man. You are an adult. You can do it. It's like no one can see it from my perspective. It's like I am always wrong. When I study, what I do? I fall asleep. What do they say? Hey, you're lazy. You're procrastinating. You're choosing not to do this. And I'm like, that's got to be something wrong with me. When it comes to school, study it, and staying on task and staying focused, I just can't do it. And I try, and I go back to school, and I pay all this money, and I pay all this money, and I pay all this money, and I fail, and I fail, and I fail, and I fail. Music has always been there for me, and I've always been great at it. People say that, hey, they try to test me. They say, hey, you know music, right? You know this person? No. You know this person? No. You know this person? No. Well, how are you a musician? I also get people say to me, hey, what key is this in? I say, I don't know. Like, what? They say, well, how are, you playing? how are you a musician? How do you play so well? I am not the type of person who is book smart or knowledge, knowledgeable. I don't know things, but I know how to do things. I know how to do things physically in a creative way. I'm not the type of person who retains things and holds on to things, who can read a book and then take a test, pass it, and go on. That's not me. I am a creative mind, creative minded person. And then it involves creativity. I can do, at least to some degree, where people are like, wow, you do it so well. You ever thought about going to school? No. I try it. It doesn't work. So this is all tying together. I met the parents. They asked me, hey, what do you do for a living? I had to tell them I am a, a musician. I, didn't, I couldn't tell them I was a street musician. I am a musician. Then they said, hey, you have a degree? I said, I don't have a degree. My ex-wife parents did not speak to me for two years and told her not to marry me because I don't have a degree. What sense does that make? So I give up this YouTube thing. I give no, it's because the reading between the lines, you are a street performer. That means you kind of perform for the, the change. You know what I mean? So, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how much income they make. You know what I mean? You hear the kind of like the hearsay stories, but um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about what, I don't know what you guys think. I, I just imagine, and maybe I'm wrong, that it's not going to be all that much. You know what I mean? Just to be a, a kind of like, they call it a busker. Yes, you know, to say you go to kind of uh, tourist, uh, tourist areas and you, as I say, you, you, you're out there singing or performing for, for people's change, as I said. And um, yeah, that that's justifies why any... Pe okay, so say if you're, say if that was your child, or say, say daughter, because it's just, you know, it's more easy to process. As in his example, it's your daughter, right? She's talking about being in a long-term relationship with this particular partner, Okay, you want the best interest for your daughter. Yeah, of course you want her to be loved and things like that. But you also want her to have a comfortable life. Okay, presumably and be loved. Yeah, as I said, her partner is uh, going to be begging, you know, not begging, like busking for money. Go on from there. Exactly. My entrepreneurial things. I try to do something that's not innately a part of my strengths at all. Because I'm thinking I'm in love to do something for somebody to prove something. And this continues on through the marriage. She says, hey, you need to find a hobby. I'm like, oh, let me play Yu-Gi-Oh again. So last December, last year, I start my channel up again. I, I buy my channel back from Java. Like, oh, she gave me the okay to go into a hobby. You know what she said? You're spending too much time playing those cards. It's either the cards or me. She literally said that. I'm like, you just said I need a hobby. I get into a hobby, and now you said I'm doing it too much. What, what is it? What do I do? Brother, it depends. It depends. Well, how long? You got to go into the detail. How long were you playing it for? 
You know what I mean? And were you doing it when she's at work? Or were you doing it when she comes back from work? Does she see anything of you? Depends. Were you kind of sharing out your, well, your channel's doing? Were you kind of giving any insights about, okay, actually, you know, I'm doing a little bit of time for this. But if it goes in the direction that I hope it to be, then we're both, we're both good. You know what that's called? That, that's called putting somebody's mind at ease. <laughs> Women look for us, us being men, to be providers. Because potentially there's going to be a family down the line and they're looking for stability. Now, I know this man's a creative. I guess to some extent, so am I, since I'm doing this video. But there's reality in there as well, my brother. That's it. But anyway, it's all good. Let's go forward. She said, why are you into those cards so much? I said, hey, I need to make a video about something. And I haven't played this card game for two years. On and off, how can I make a video for my subscribers about something I have no knowledge of? And I try to explain it to her, but she don't get it. She thinks it's just cards you pick up and you just play like Uno. It's not that way. Every three months, a new stuff come out, new stuff come out. I can't make a video about something if I don't know what it's about. I can't start my channel back up and just start making videos. I have to be in it. I have to learn about it and learn what's going on. So she hated those cards. She literally cried because of those cards. And people say, hey, priorities, man. It's your wife or... Brother, I don't know this girl, but I'm guessing that she cried because she was trying to talk to you about something fundamental, which was kind of threatening the whole relationship. And I can't remember if you said you were married. That's what she was crying about. She's crying because you're... As a unit, you cannot. Ha she didn't have any confidence that it was going to go forwards in affluence and, and just to be comfortable, or or otherwise, or if it was just going to be a struggle life, and nobody signs up for that. That was that, in my point of view. Let, let me know in the comments if you think it was something else. You know what I mean? And everything's perspective. And it, to be fair to the guy, he's the one that lived that thing. But I just want to go back a little bit just so we don't miss it. But it, I think from what he said, those are the inferences I'm taking. Anyway, let's go forwards. So she hated those cards. She literally cried because of those cards. And people say, hey, priorities, man. It's your wife or, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But then I'll be back at that point where I'm giving up things that I like, things that's a part of my life for someone else to feel happy. And I feel miserable in the process. I'm sitting there watching all these YouTubers come out and make videos and do all this stuff. They're traveling. I'm like, that's what I used to do. I love that. I miss that. Why can't she come along with my journey instead of scrutinizing me? And then that's money gone from me. It's not about the money, but that was money gone from me. Then street performing. I said to her, hey, I don't want to move away from Baltimore. You may be thinking, why? That's where my home base is. My gigs, my performances, everything. Keep in mind, I didn't have a job. Like when I say I don't have a job, like a real job. A real job is, you know, going in nine to five. I didn't have a real job for over 10 years. It was YouTube and playing my horn. That's how I paid all my bills. So when we got married and we moved out to Baltimore to somewhere else that I didn't want to be, she said, hey, how come you're not paying the bills? And I was like, what? I have a job. I have a nine to five job. I don't make enough from this nine to five job to pay all these bills. Before then, I could street performing and YouTube. I made enough money off of that to pay the bills. Now I'm working nine to five all day long. And that's not a complaint because there are people who do that. But I had something that most people wish they had. Most people wish they can go out, make some money, pay the bills and have all day off. That was a gift. That was something that was that was something that I had. Now, you can take this video as me. It sounds that, <laughs> ironically, ironically, I think this is maybe what the video is about, and I think I'm getting it, I think. Um, so he went from a position where doing the YouTube and the street performing, whilst it doesn't look gli like glitzy, um, he was making more money then than he was in the 9 to 5. I think that's what he's saying. Or is it saying, from her perspective, since she's, in her lived experience, she still was complaining about it, which, you know, which rightly or wrongly, that... Uh, he's doing the full-time work, but also he's trying to squeeze in the, the gaming, which is which is fair enough. But unfortunately, that means there's not enough time for her. Is that what it is? I don't know. Complaining, crying, I messed up. It is all of that. It is true. I am complaining. I am hurt. I made some mistakes. I did some dumb, dumb things. And you're right. It is my fault. I chose. I chose to sell my channel. I chose to give up this thing. Not realizing, you know what? This is my YouTube channel. This is my life. You can't come into my life and dictate to me and tell me what's better for me because you don't see it from my perspective. And then get mad at me when I lose all of those things that I can't do and I can't do what you think I should do. I've never been that way. It's like you're trying to tell me to walk or run a lap or race 
with no legs. You're trying to tell me to do something that I innately just cannot do. And when I say I can't do that, it's just an excuse. Bear in mind what he did say earlier about he's not an academic guy. Uh, he's, his talents are in music, basically, and all of the creative things. And, and, and then this gaming thing, which is particularly good at it. has got 100,000 subscribers now, so he was right. You know what I mean? And congratulations to him. And uh, I definitely, um, I, as a gamer myself, um, I definitely appreciate his success. And trust me, he's inspired me. He's inspired me to do Yu-Gi-Oh! So uh, that's for the future. And uh, hopefully, maybe one day I'll get 100,000 subscribers. I'm probably going to need two channels. I'm probably going to need a gamer's channel now and a lifestyle channel at some point in the future. Anyway, let's go forward. <laughs> So, I, I, I'm, I'm moving out. In two weeks, I'll be moving out. I, I'll have my own place again. I'm starting over, starting my life over. Um, and you guys know, I couldn't make videos when she, in the house. The only time I can make YouTube videos is when she's gone. And you might be thinking, oh, why is that? She would come in here from my room and say, hey, you're too loud. Hey, I'm trying to read. I'm like, wait, what? I gotta, make a, I gotta talk. I gotta make a video. I'm disturbing her. And yes, I'm venting and I'm ranting. If you stayed this long, thank you. If you didn't, it's okay. But listen, I gave her a lot of passes in this in this in this video to sort of put my own myself in that situation for the reasons said before. But I think fundamentally, if you can't even have a conversation in a different room, assuming that there's two rooms, <laughs> maybe that's just one long room, and you know what I mean. She and yeah, she doesn't get any privacy or a little bit of quiet time at all. I mean, presumably there's a bedroom, right? There's going to be a lounge and a bedroom minimum. But anyway, they don't seem like a match. That's, that's the thing. I think what he's saying is probably right. Him and her, that wouldn't be too presumptive, but it seems to be where it's leading. They, they weren't suited. I think they yeah, had divorced, uh, which is really sad. You know what I mean? Especially if you believe in kind of holy covenants and things like that. And um, Absolutely. So uh, that's, that's the not so good bit. But hopefully going forwards, he will find his match. And he obviously is successful in his channel and in his chosen field. And uh, I'm sure he's making a ton of money. So all is good, brother. All is good. I need to get this off my chest because it was brewing. I am deeply hurt and I hurt myself. I don't blame her at all. Everything that I've chosen to do is because I wanted to do it. I wanted to make someone happy. I wanted to make, I thought I can be that person for someone else, and I thought I can do it. I thought I can get away, get, get away from YouTube and Yu-Gi-Oh! and street performing. I thought I can go back to school and pass and get a real job and make some good money to pay all my bills. I thought I could be that man who could do those things. But the truth is, I have special gifts and talents that other people wish they had to be able to pay and make money and do things in ways people wish they could. It's ironic, isn't it? It's ironic that I wish that I can go to school and work a nine to five job all day long to pay all my bills. It's ironic that I want to do what people hate to do. They hate to go in and live a mundane life. They hate that. I had, and they want to have, have, the, they want to have their own business. They want to make their own money. They want to have their free time. I had that. I had that. Literally, literally I would work three days, three hours a day and have enough at the end of, end of the month to pay all my bills and do whatever I need and travel. But that wasn't good enough for the person I was with. It wasn't secured enough. What if you didn't make it? Live a mundane life. They hate that. I had, and they want to have, have the, they want to have their own business. They want to make their own money. They want to have their free time. I had that. I had that. Literally, literally I would work three days, three hours a day, and have enough at the end of, end of the month to pay all my bills and do whatever I need and travel. But that wasn't good enough for the person I was with. It wasn't secured enough. What if you didn't make enough? Was the question. What about medical bills? What about this? What about that? What about retirement? What about all the stuff? So, what about that? <laughs> what about that? Um, so, when you say covering all those bills, since that's been brought up and you haven't said what, I was paying the insurance on those bills. So, oh, it's just a little bit grey, my friend, a little bit grey. But uh, you had me. You had me right there. I, you know, I could do three days a week, three hours a day. Yeah. And still cover all his bills. But I say he hasn't mentioned he's covering those fundamental bills. Which is somebody cares about you that they've got a right to raise, um, but it does sound like yeah, maybe that's what the street performing kind of sort of covered. Maybe the insurance on the medical, but then again, you're not investing in your pension. I think was it what was that what it was? Um, not sure. Very grey, my friend. Very grey. Anyway, let's just see the end. That's very near the end. I truly want to do YouTube full time, not for a living. Yes, money comes along with it, 
And yes, my channel is dead, but I'll do it as a hobby because I like doing it and I can't give it up. I've made a video about not giving up before. I said I would never give up. I just can't. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I enjoy being with my friends and doing those things, even at this age, even 15 years later. I'm done. Thanks for watching. You can leave a comment. Tell me. I, I, I will. I'm stuttering. If you guys did not know, I have a speech impediment. Some of you guys say, hey, why are you stuttering? Why are you sounding like Bill Cosby? I have a speech impediment. I never told you guys that. Just realize that. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm going. Did really, 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 really well. Did he go through that video? I never thought he had a speech impediment. Um, you know what I mean? I ain't going to go into anything else. But, the, you know, very, very good. And uh, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to invest in Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, I want 100,000. I want 200,000. I want domination! Um, there's a game we used to play called um, Deck Heroes, strangely enough. <laughs> it's possibly very close or very similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through all the tutorial stages and I've gone through like one minute of one tutorial stage at the moment. The video is ending by the way, <laughs> please like and subscribe. I'm just going to do some gamer chat now for the gamers out there. So, um, you know, just watch this space. If you do know as a gamer, any kind of decent, and I, I'm going to do a search, but yeah, I just want some kind of <laughs> beginner's tips and you know, how to play and you'll know, get my head around Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to do some learning by doing, but also we're going to watch some videos, do the thing I'm going to watch everybody else to do. I want everybody else to do with my channel as soon as I know what I'm talking about on that particular game. But um, all is good. Um, and I enjoyed that video. Yeah. Hmm. Very different. So everybody's life story is just that slightly different, isn't it? And um, not just because I've got a qualification, an amazing qualification in psychology, but that lived experience gives us our own perspectives on somebody else's life. You always feel like a... If they were your best friend or your brother or something like that or your sister, depending on the video that you're watching, like what advice would you give to them, you know, from your life experience in order to enhance their life, you know, from this point going forwards and they either take it or they don't. And I guess that's why I'm kind of doing these videos, but it's definitely coming from the right place. And obviously they're, they're probably never going to hear it. And if they do, please know that uh, I'm doing it with love and from the right place and uh, hopefully find it useful. Anyway, please like, subscribe, please leave it a man.